Right now at six, does this piece of school art go too far? We had to blur it and a local school decided to remove it. Some say at the expense, uh, the expense of the girl who created it and the message she was trying to send. Katie Crowther is in Greendale with a closer look at the exhibit. Just before school got out for summer here at Greendale High School, an art project done by an African-American student was taken down because people allegedly found it upsetting. While a group of parents is fighting back, saying that was the wrong decision. This is the piece of art in question. We're blurring the N-word and other racial slurs on it. The student wouldn't speak on camera, but says the assignment was to create a poster that impacted her personally and would create conversation. Her teacher approved it, but school administrators took hers down, then removed all of the student posters. In a statement, the student says, I have been called the N-word several times. I have also witnessed students of color being treated unfairly at Greendale High School. I wanted my artwork to be the voice of students of color who feel invisible. They're not willing to firstly listen to the voices of black students and parents and other students and parents of color. Nat Godley is among dozens of parents who created the group known as PAGE, parents advocating for Greendale equity. According to the principal and superintendent, the problem was the art project was displayed without context. In an email to parents, they said, we received questions and concerns from community members. The messages contained on this art are upsetting, especially in light of the work our district does to build a culture and community of acceptance, inclusion, and understanding. After other incidents this past year involving claims of racism, the Greendale School District increased staff training. In this case, Godley believes there should have been a bigger conversation with students. We need to work hard and have those uncomfortable conversations to, to fix it, to make our communities and our schools welcoming to all. I do have a call into the superintendent of Greendale schools, but have not yet heard back. Reporting in Greendale, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. Now to the weather. It